Welcome to the Stan Sheriff Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii here in Honolulu, getting ready for NCAA semifinal number two, the Princeton Tigers and the Pepperdine Waves. They have really improved this year, and they shouldn't be rattled by playing a powerhouse like Pepperdine. There's the block. Scott Birdwell, 6'4", senior from Brentwood, California, with a roof. And Birdwell is the go-to guy, and he's fired up. He's played with and against these players all his life. Above 400, but he's at 458, which is pretty darn good. And Pepperdine uh, unable to stop the middle. That's one thing Princeton will try to do is establish the middle. That was Dan Brandt hitting 395 on the year, and he's a velocity topspin serve. Look at his numbers. He was just named the NCAA Player of the Year. And pounding the ball through. Now, Princeton, if you're wondering, they haven't been in the championship, and this is a team that came in. They have a special group of guys that all started together. Now, most of them are seniors, so they're a veteran group under Glenn Nelson. And... Uh, J. Riley with the best ace to error ratio in the, the Pepperdine Waves. Peter Kadashi serving. Morrow with the set. And off the hands out of bounds. So here is J.J. Riley. Game point. And this should be it. Riley left side. And over the top ball, Doug. Riley, quick set. And trying to take their first lead right here. And they do! Wow, one on one. Steve Cooper blocks George Romain. Great timing. Look at him line up. His head is on the hitting shoulder straight down. That'll fire up the freshman. Well, the Tigers have a lead, and they can get to a 2 0 lead with a put away here. And they do! A little offensive firepower is all this team needs. They're actually fifth in the nation in hitting percentage. They average 344 on the season. Game one, though, hit 042. Seven errors, just eight kills. And point number three, one on one, Derek Devins. So Pepperdine maybe with a little letdown, and the Princeton Tigers chomping on it. Very smart play, read the setter, the timing is perfect. Derek Devins has the ability as a middle blocker to take control of the match, very powerful at the net. Timeout, Pepperdine. So the Princeton Tigers aren't tall, but they're getting up and over. And they start game two with a flourish. One of the shorter setters in the country, but talented. Remember Stuart Chong last year for Stanford. Very small player, but very effective. And the reason why both of these setters are so good, soft. Ooh, dude, so. That was the chance that they sang out when he was a player here. Trailing 9-4. And a good block there. In on the block. Place where they were weak, Marv Dumpy really wondering what he was going to do. And then all of a sudden, Rick Toon came and filled the hole. How about that? Put the Toon and Jacobson graduate. That will be the hole for Pepperdine. Out of the place for in and done a great job. Huge expectations coming in. <laughs> Success recruiting in the Los Angeles area. Down the line and kind of odd jump floater and the big front line. Yeah, you can see why this is the best rotation. With Southpaw, Devin's in the air with a little switch up, change up. The hitting tendencies of the opponent. Down the line, ball dug and it's... To outdig Pepperdine to win. A little late night volleyball from Honolulu, Hawaii. Glad you're with us on ESPN2. Rick Toon. Seven for seven, seven kills in seven attempts. That's basically unstoppable. I said almost perfectly. Almost yeah, perfect. That, that's got exactly it. what almost perfectly means. Princeton gets the ball back. Of course, Princeton is. The brow is put together a lot like that. And that ball put away. Doug Beal told me a little earlier tonight that he thought the uh, Romain. And that ball is blocked. Jacobson. 
J.J. Riley with the serve. Morrow sets quick, and putting it through was Derek Devin. It's amazing when you think about it. Players actually missed matches to, to work on the thesis track. About 100 miles an hour, he dug it straight up, and then Pepperdine put it away. Romaine put it away on the back row, and that was just a... It'll be very interesting to see how long Marv Dumpy leaves Kodashi in, knowing he has sore wheels, all the inflammation, see if he might get another outside. Could be Kahali uh, relatives over there, don't you think? Quite possible. George. School in Southern California. Through. Secrets, not having to use anything new. They can save it. The Aloha ball, as they call it. Princeton's final swing, no. Big drill down the line by 